Welcome back, everybody. Build Show Network. What are we talking about today? It's a nice cold New England day out there. What better to talk about than warm board? What's warm board? Well, warm board is a radiant floor heating system that we're going to introduce into this product or this project here. The whole house is getting uh, warm board installed here, and we're going to have a full radiant floor heating system throughout the whole house. So what exactly is warm board? Warm board comes in two distinctly different categories. There's warm board R, which is basically remodeling, and then there's warm board S. Warm board S is for new construction. What's the difference? If I look at these in section, notice that how much thicker the warm board S is from the remodeling, right? So the remodeling, the real concern is getting deep enough to provide a space for the hose for that um, radiant floor tubing to be placed in. And we don't really care about structure because it's being supported by a subfloor that's already in place in the structure, hence the remodeling aspect. Whereas the warm board S is for new construction. So not only do you have to have a space for the tubing, but you need a considerable amount of meat underneath here in the subfloor to actually provide the subfloor for the construction. But we're not here to talk about warm board S because this is our whole house ranch remodel. So we already have the subfloor. So let's put this aside. Let's talk about some warm board R. What exactly is warm board R? Well, warm board R, they come in two foot by four foot panels. They're 13 16 inch in thickness. They carry the radiant tubing. You can see it just snaps in place there. They're already pre preformed panels. The uh, 1060 aluminum alloy covers the entire panel. So it goes down into the loop. So you can see when that radiant floor tube goes in there, you're capturing about 60% of the contact area, relaying and putting that heat transfer into the aluminum alloy and carrying it across that conductive surface of the aluminum across the floor. And guess what? You get to heat your toesies there to a nice, you know, 80 degree warmness with that radiant floor system. But one of the things that's really interesting about warm board, and you might have seen my video in uh, when we were out at IBS, I stopped by their booth and talked to them specifically with one of the owners about their product. And we're gonna reiterate some of the things that we talked about there. But one of the things here says, design services included. Well, as a sole proprietor, it's very important that my services extend beyond me. So what does that mean? It means when I team up with a company like Warmboard in providing a certain level product to my clients, that they provide a certain level of expectations to meet my needs so that I can transfer that information into the project, right? So as the architect, I'm kind of the maestro of the orchestra, if you will, and I'm pulling pieces from here, there, and everywhere. I'm knitting them together and we're delivering that as a project to the client. Well, Warm board is the warm board section of my, or the heating section of my orchestra, right? So how did they help me? Let's get out Big Red and let's talk about exactly what warm board did for us, right? You can see here, they took the floor plan and they broke it down. We have zone one, we have zone two, we have zone three, we have zone four, and we have zone five. Right? The pretty interesting thing about these zones is, is that, one, they're set with a certain length because you don't want to have a break in any one of the hoses or one of the uh, radiant lines. You want that to be a continuous loop. The continuity of that loop puts us at a much lower risk for leakage, right? Because if I have a series of joints in there, then I have a, basically a series of chances to provide leakage. Take out the joints out of the equation, I take out the leakages out of the equation, right? So basically you have a continuous line feed of the radiant heat and the only two connections are at the ends at the manifold. By having the five zones, that helps us break down this long pipe into five smaller pipes. It also allows us, if you notice, these three sections are oriented towards the back of the house. And then these two sections are oriented more towards the front of the house, right? Well, what does that mean? It means that 
as you look at holistically at the project, well, depending on where the sun rises and the sun sets, certain rooms are going to be in daylight, certain rooms are not going to be in daylight, certain rooms are never going to have sun directly beating on the floor. So their requirements for heating are going to be slightly different than, say, this room with the 13 foot by 6 foot window beating down on my sunroom floor here, right? The requirement there versus the requirement in this corner where it never sees sunlight or in the middle here underneath the portico, those are two different environments. So Warmboard worked with us to satisfy those requirements. They did the layout and then they take this layout and then they transfer it, transfer it into a panel layout. So they basically take that overarching scheme, very much like we did the woodworking where I have my design intent and then I send it away and the woodworker works up shop drawings. Well, Warmboard, we work out the design intent, we get that right, figure that all out, and then they actually work it up into a series of shop drawings and here you have it, you have all the different panels. So it shows all the different panels, whether it's a turn panel, a straight panel, or a filler panel, but it shows the location of each of the panels. So they've taken this project and basically laid it out on a per panel basis and added the filler panels so that we get to match the actual intent of the design drawing that laid out the different zones. So they give us that those design services are not only laying out the different zones, but they're laying it out on a per panel basis and then packing all these panels up and shipping it out and basically giving the contractors here a jigsaw puzzle to put together, snap the line in, plumber makes the connection, and voila, we get a radiant floor heating system. Now, I know I made it sound like it was pretty trivial and it was just, hey, snap together, nail this off, blah, 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 but I realize it isn't. Um, I have the highest respect for the gentlemen and ladies that I work with in the contracting field. It's always a team effort and, uh, you know, warm board in this aspect of the project is just another team member. So not only do we have those panels, but we'll go to the last sheet here and you'll see that they give us various details on installation, all their little tricks of the trade, the different panels. Um, the remodel panel detail there, how to put it together. We've had great service from their local rep. She's come down, she's walked us through the process, talked through it. We had a couple iterations on the zoning and the design of the panels, locations, etc. They've come through as a champ. We're ready to go. It's only going to be a couple weeks. We're going to be installing that warm board. We're going to get this place nice and toasty warm. I look forward to for you guys to come back, catch me on another episode on the Build Show Network, and we're going to see this system getting installed. We're going to see it fully installed, and uh, we're on a path to success here, in part, thanks to Warmboard. Catch us next time on the Build Show. If you're looking for me, you can find me on Steve Bazek Architect on Instagram. I put up some good content there that complements the Build Show Network great. We're a great family. Watch my videos of my buddies, Jake, Wade, Matt, Brent. These guys are doing a phenomenal job. I look forward to seeing their, their stuff every time their videos get dropped. I hope you're enjoying it too. But until next time, thanks for joining us.